their parents and learners. I'm a Mitch. Welcome back to another video lesson in Mathematics 6. This lesson is for week 3 of the second quarter, which is about the introduction of rate, base, and percentage. Milk base. Learning goals. Give the meaning of percentage, rate or percent, or base used in solving percentage problems. Identify percentage, rate, and base in a problem, statement, or equation. Three elements or terms of percentage. Number one, rate. Number two, base. Number three, percentage. Ano nga ba ang pagkakaiba nila sa isa't isa? Base is the number or quantity that represents the whole or the entire amount from which a part is taken. Ibig sabihin, ang base ay ang number o bilang na tumutukoy sa kabuuan o buong halaga kung saan ang bahagi ay binabawas. Percentage is the number or the amount that represents a part of a whole. Ibig sabihin, ang percentage ay tumutukoy sa bahagi na nagmula sa kabuuan or base. Rate is the number compared to 100. It usually has either a percent sign or the word percent with it. Ang rate ay number na ikinukumpara sa 100. Ito ay tinatawag ding percent na ang ibig sabihin ay per hundreds. Ito ay madaling makilala dahil sinusundan ito ng percent sign. Example Matthew's school allowance is 60 pesos. He spends 24 pesos for snacks. This is 40% of his school allowance. Kung i-analyze natin ang problem, Alin kaya ang base? Tama! Ang base ay 60 pesos dahil ito ay ang total allowance ni Matthew. Alin naman ang percentage? Tama! Ang percentage ay 24 pesos dahil ito ay ang parte o bahagi lamang ng total allowance ni Matthew na 60 pesos. Lastly, Alin naman ang rate? Tama, 40%. Dahil ito ay may percent sign. Sa problem na ito, gawin nating mas maikli ang statement pero pareho pa rin ang content. So we have 40% of 60 pesos is 24 pesos. 40% is the rate. Dahil sa percent sign. 60 pesos is the base. Ang palatandaan dito ay ang word na off. So, nauuna ang off bago yung base. 24 pesos is the percentage. Ang palatandaan naman dito ay ang word na is. Pero pwede ring ang is ay makikita before the percentage or after the percentage. Determine the rate, base, and percentage. Number 1. 20% of 50 is 10. 20% is the rate dahil meron siyang percent sign. 50 is the base. Because of the word of before 50. 10 is the percentage. Because of the word is before the number 10. Number 2. 80 is 125% of 64. 125% is the rate because of the percent sign. 64 is the base because of the word of bago yung 64. And 80 is the percentage. 
So dito naman, ang ES ay sumunod sa 80. So yan pa rin ang percentage. Number 3. 8% of 1,200 is 96. 8% is the rate dahil sa percent sign. 1,200 is the base dahil meron itong off na nasa unahan ng 1,200. 96 is the percentage dahil meron tayong word na is bago yung 96. Identify the rate, base, and percentage in the following problems. Number 1. Narda has 5,000 in her pocket which is 25% of her father's money. Her father must have 20,000 pesos. Rate is 25% because of percent sign. Base is 20,000 because it is the total amount of Narda's father's money. And percentage is 5,000. Yan naman yung nasa packet ni Narda. Henry bought a barong with 15% discount or 150 pesos. The barong must have a tag price of 1,000 pesos. Ang rate ay 15% because of percent sign. Base is 1,000 pesos kasi yan yung tag price. Ibig sabihin hindi pa nababawasan. And percentage, we have... 150 pesos. Yan yung pinaka-patumbas ng 15% discount. 